it's one of the best things ever invented for pet and cats. It's really here to dust off my electronics and so I can reach the camera without cracking my head on the shelf over my head because the camera gets moved around sometimes, you know. Okay, so I'm going to try to make this quick even though I'm really into petting this cat. Uh, what? Okay, first of all, uh, as of this morning, I have 192 subscribers, which means probably by the time this uploads, I might have 200 subscribers. Uh, apparently people were really, uh, interested in the fact that my computer was broken because a lot of people subscribed yesterday. My computer is still broken. What am I saying? Uh, so thank you for subscribing. I hope you will be happy here. It's an interesting and eclectic channel, and I have really fun friends. Item number two, really fun friends. I'm going to give some shout-outs because yesterday we had a blog TV show on my channel because Jason with a D is going through some heavy changes. His whole family is. His daughter, Ariel, um... Her medical situation is getting serious again, and so he needs to concentrate on that. He is a puppeteer and an atheist, and he uh, has been producing videos regularly uh, through the entire health crisis, the death of his mother, and everything else that goes on in his life. I think it's part of his occupational therapy, uh, and it sure is a benefit to the rest of us. He's one of the sweetest people on YouTube uh, and funny. So we had a brainstorming session yesterday, a little group of us, to make some video presents for the family, for Ariel and for Jason. I'm going to turn the fan off. I'm cold. <clears throat> Got to try to keep this poor old computer cool, you know, but... Uh. Okay, so we are working on some video presents. Uh, some of us have some obstacles. For instance, me with my poor computer fixing to die. Um, Goxter with an S, that's G, G O X S T E R. All the links will be in the underwear. Uh, he's, uh, oh, he's funny. Subscribe to his channel. And he's smart. And he's sweet. Goxter put together a collaborative video once before with a whole bunch of really cool YouTubers. And they read the little prints to Ariel. Oh. And so he's kind of interested in doing a collaborative thing. And Brian J. 1962, uh, one of his puppets is the wife of one of Jason's puppets, ex-wife of one of Jason's puppets. So Brian's going to be putting together something. And Yasmin, who the last part of her name, I can't see it, so I can't pronounce it. But I'll put her link down there, too. Uh, she does these interesting little art videos because she's got an interesting video editor with music. And she's going to put together something. And uh, Richard Roy was there. He has a different name on blog TV. Something like Hammerhead. Don't know why, because he's the least, one of the least hammeriest people I know. Unless you mean hammer as a tool and not as a weapon. Um, because Richard is very pragmatic about getting stuff done. Um, but on a really heart level. He's not like mean and, you know, violent. So he was there. And who else was there? Oh, some other people, but I don't know who they all were. And a lot of people couldn't come, but wanted to, uh, like Schizophrenic Queen and some others. So I think, because Goxter lives in um, Bulgaria. I must have lived in Bulgaria my whole life, because this sounds like one of my problems. He doesn't know. He's moving into a new house. He doesn't know if the electricity and the DSL will be turned on when they say they will. So he doesn't know if he'll have internet access. I mean, like, they could turn off his DSL at his house, where he's living now, today, and still, like, dick around and not install it at the new house for a couple of months, and he's moving in a couple of weeks, and, you know, I, you know, I've been living like that my whole life, and it's called living in the war zone, so Goxter thinks he lives in Bulgaria, but he lives in my neighborhood. Uh, let's see. So, we're putting together these videos, if you want to be part of it, PM me, um, Hopefully, hopefully, my computer will last long enough so that by the time... People are making some donations for me getting a new computer. So by the time I get a new computer, maybe I won't have be having to use the public library in Moriarty to collect email and so on. Because I'm not sure I can log on to YouTube from the public library. Uh, so if you PM me, PM me soon, 
and I will give you my email address. You can also get a hold of me on Skype. I think I'm R. Riverstone on Skype, too. Well, here I'm R. Riverstone, one, because YouTube is stupid. Because they messed up my first account. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that's subscribers, shout-outs, a brief update. I went to a I went to Albuquerque the day before last, took the computer to try to get a new video card, and that's when I found out that the capacitors were melting, and, you know, once we got the lid off. Uh, there's a couple of computers in town, but not really so much. I think I'm going to do better if I get a new one on eBay. Uh, and I'm going to take my netbook apart and see how much damage there is to the keyboard uh, printed circuit board and see if I can clean it up and get it fired up again. Uh, I expect that it has probably corrupted the uh, uh, USB little radio control thing for my remote control keyboards because they won't function. Weird, the caps lock works. I can hear it beep, 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 beep. But the keys don't key. Cat hair. Uh, neither does the backspace or the inner or any of the F buttons. So just the caps lock and the numbers lock. Uh, brand new batteries. Let's see. Uh, what else? Okay, so I went to Albuquerque, pooted around all day because I got there early. Because, ow, I thought it was going to be video graphics card shopping. I didn't know how long that would take. I went to a nice play party at a private house Oh, that had some really interesting equipment. Oh, I forgot to tell you the main thing. There was a lag in time where I didn't have any place to go, and it was dark, and it was cold. And I had Weasel with me, and I didn't know what to do. So we went to the Coronado Mall, which is really on hard times. Lots of plywood up and windows boarded and so on. The place was packed. What I found really fun about that was hardly anybody in the place was white. It was great. It was people from everywhere else on the planet. So interesting. And there was a shop. There are several shops for large-sized women. You know, Elaine Bryant's very office and kind of blah. Uh, but there were two others. can't remember one of them. But there's this shop that I've never heard of before called Torrid. Girl, if you want some good quality clothes with interesting details, well-made, and sexy stuff, not just sexy, but sexy stuff, they had Merry Widows there. I like Merry Widows. don't like corsets. <coughs> I think corsets cause, I know corsets cause actual physical damage. <coughs> but Merry Widows, you get sort of the same effect without as much physical pain. No, uh, you can still get them with whalebone and underwire and all that. But these were so cute. They were only $25. And no, I can't afford one. And no, I didn't get one. But damn, they're cute. They have a lot of really pretty stuff. And... It's womanly stuff, not necessarily feminine, although they've got that, but it's creative and it's, you know what it's like? It's ugly Betty, you know, only the colors are coordinated and whatnot. It's bright and vivacious and I'm proud of myself and I'm strong and I'm beautiful and it was just wonderful to be in a shop like that. Also, I noticed Victoria's Secret across from the regular Victoria's Secret, they had another shop that was all large size, um, lingerie and stuff yeah so uh it was fun being in the mall i just wanted to get indoors where it was warm where it was lit and go for a walk because i've been trapped in this little trailer and not being able to get much physical exercise so i walked all over the downstairs and i walked all over the upstairs and i went past these which is a childhood favorite candy shop but i didn't buy any because these has excuse me i'm getting over cold um C's has degraded their quality and they're using high fructose corn syrup and cheap ingredients and you know so I didn't buy any C's I don't have enough teeth for those hard lollipops anymore although I really like the butterscotch and the chocolate I'll make it myself I find a recipe so uh it was a very good day in Albuquerque except that I kept getting the message that real people live different than me and I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't do the other because of money. So I needed to let go of that. The other hard thing I had to do while I was in Albuquerque that made it painful, and interestingly, it wasn't that day that I felt it, but the next day that I felt the stuff about money and not being able to participate in the culture. Uh, the other thing was that I took Colt and 
Weasel with me to Albuquerque, and I only brought Weasel back. Um, I gave Colt away. But the absence of stress in the household, things not being chewed, chewed up, uh, no aggression against the cats. The cats have all come back out. They were living in the back room. They were living up in shelves, you know. So they're out all over the house and playing and goofing and stuff. Uh, more food for Weasel, uh, more space for Weasel, more attention for Weasel. The bed is much bigger. The cats are now getting in the bed again because Colt's not here. Uh, less destruction. I don't have to worry about the bad vibes from the landlord and the crazy man next door. He was trying to steal Colt all the time. And the landlord's mad because he said my dog could play with his dog. But in this place, any reason to come up with an excuse to resent somebody, you know. And Colt would get loose and run over there without my permission and, you know, almost sneeze. All right, so that's the update. Oh, I have another one for you. Go find MS Night 5. Because she has found a new religion, and it is Minecraft, which is a game, which is really a lot of fun. Um, it's very uh, contagious. She caught it from Brian J. And there's a whole little pack of Brian J.'s buddies that are over in Brian J.'s place building things. Brian J. figured out how to build an elevator. And MS Knight 5 told me that uh, somebody built an airplane. It doesn't fly, but it's an airplane. And uh, one night, uh, MS Night 5 and I Skyped, and she pointed her camera at the screen so I could watch her build a garden, and her house is so pretty. Not just in the single-player version, she's also playing a multiplayer version. Well, she's made a lot of videotapes about how to play Minecraft. If I can ever get a computer that operates, I'll end up being one of the addicts, too. I don't know why people watch regular television anymore between YouTube and Hulu and just stuff floating around on the internet and uh, interactive games and Skype and, you know, why, why bother watching prefab can stuff? Okay, this has gone on really long. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being supportive. Thank you for all the wonderful private messages and comments and so on about my situation. Thank you to the people on the Air Media list. I'll put that link too. Air Media, Association for Independence and Radio. Thank you to you people. And thank you to the people, uh, that's an email list, and an organization. Uh, and thank you to the women of WAM, which is Women Action in Media, their email list. Thank you very much for your support and your kind words and for understanding that the fact that I spend $150 per year on tobacco, rolling papers, and filters is not going to make a very substantial dent in whether or not I can afford to replace my computer. What? Well, the only thing some people could see about me is that I smoke. So, you know, we got to find something negative. What's wrong with her? Oh, she's got a cat. Oh, she smokes. Oh, she's ugly. Okay. Have a nice day. See you later. Bye.